to rally poets of your sang of a mountain that would stand tall, even should all other lands sink beneath the sea. Indomitable and eternal, it arises from Urkopacha, the hundred peaks of time. Of all the beasts which crawl and fly, only the legendary Valikarmanda could hope to disturb the summit's serene majesty. Yet, with that flying calamity imprisoned by the Dawn Serpent, what great feat remains for those who would claim the throne? So this is Urkopacha. I've never actually been here before. <sighs> the air is so crisp and clear. Mountains everywhere you look. That one massive peak in particular has quite the presence. It puts me in mind of Som Arl. That is Warkor Sormor, the tallest mountain in Yogturat. Its sheer height makes it an imposing climb. But there are other reasons the ambitious keep their distance. Oh? Do tell. <sighs> Where to begin? Excuse me, but you're Wuk Lamat, are you not? I, I hadn't thought to encounter one of the Dawn's promise here of all places. I should introduce myself. I am Bol No, a weaver by trade. Well met, Bol no. We're on our way to Watchun Pelo. Oh, truly, <laughs> I've just come from there, as it happens. I'd ask the Pelu Pelu who sell me their wool to give me a tour of their alpaca ranch. The head rancher and I shared a bottle of mezcal while he explained the finer points of wool production. Mezcal? Is that a local beverage? It's an Urkopacha specialty. A spirit made from distilled agave heart juice. Yes, and it must have done wonders for my mood, for I tripled my usual order of alpaca wool. Uh, they did offer me a discount, though, so it wasn't a bad deal in the end. <laughs> Ah, but listen to me, boring you with my tedious stories. I, I will leave you before you are lulled to sleep. Uh, goodbye, and safe travels. Oh, silly me. I almost forgot to say the thing I actually wanted to say. Peace for Tural. I agree with your vision, Third Promise. You have my support in your bid for the throne. I gather from his tale we would be foolish to underestimate Pelu Pelu merchants. Yes, they do more than run the markets in Tuliola. Pelu Pelu peddlers can be found everywhere in Tural traveling from place to place on their sturdy alpacas. They are effusive and engaging speakers, and many is the customer who's been talked into spending more than they bargained for. Hm. They won't find this customer so easily charmed. Vachun Pelo is down the path! Off the main road. Don't get lost. It's right there. Deducing the Don Servant's Elector was the first step of defeat. 
Too simple a task for this aspiring ruler, eh? Right. Not hard at all. Zorolja? I am told the head ledger, Tobli, is to be found here. You have to guess which one of us is Tobli. That's part of the test. Totally. Without even asking a single question. Very impressive indeed. Without amusing prologue out of the way, we can proceed to the actual challenge. Per the Don Servant's instructions, I was free to devise any manner of feat. I considered the number of possibilities in the tent column. But I think I have a good one. You must go forth and capture for me an alpaca. While I've not had the best experiences with alpacas, aren't they generally docile creatures? That doesn't sound like much of a challenge. <laughs> Bring out the example! This is a special kind of alpaca. Would you please approach the animal, Third Promise? Who? Me? Well, it should stay calm if I stay calm, right? That's what Erinville said. <laughs> ah! The little monster spat on me! Oh, that stinks. I can't. <gasps> Alpacas are paradoxical creatures, being both extremely curious and extremely cowardly. Press your luck when they're frightened, and you'll get a face full of spit, as you've all just witnessed. It has an awful stench, their expectoration. The globs contain half-digested food, you see, making it an effective deterrent against perceived threats. Wild valley breeds like this one are especially timid, and can therefore be quick to lash out. <laughs> They're also especially hardy. Indeed. We take the rugged wild alpacas and breed them with our gentle domesticated stock. This produces the strong but beatable pack animals prized by our traveling merchants. That's all well and good, but did I need to bathe an alpaca spit for you to make your point? So, the task is to catch a wild alpaca. That is correct. But be warned that it is a feat easier said than done. I suggest you prepare well before you enter the valley where the creatures dwell. And by you, I mean the claimants only. 
allies are not permitted to assist with the catching. The alpacas will help me judge which of you is worthy of receiving a keystone. So I'm to chase down a fluffy, spitting demon, and that somehow proves I'm fit to rule? <laughs> As I said, the Dawn Servant granted me the freedom to decide my challenge. And when you reach the end of the ride, I dare say you will understand why I chose what I chose. Very well. This won't take long. Wait! Didn't I warn you this was easier said than done? There are preparations to be made, factors to consider. A beast is a beast. All yield to strength. So far, this experience has done absolutely nothing to improve my opinion of alpacas. But that doesn't mean I can't do this. Revolting spit aside, they're just another animal. Are you all right, Orclamart? We thought we heard you scream. The third promise does not scream. It was more of a startled yelp. A uh, scream, in other words. <clears throat> Did you find the Elector? Oh, we certainly did.
thanks. I'll need it. Truth be told, still not sure about alpacas. I'd rather not go near one if I can help it. But if I'm to rule this nation, then I'll need to learn how to live with them. Tural is their home too. Right. I'm off. So, shall we head back to the ranch, or...? I'm staying here! As will I. Wuklamart is alone in this. The least we can do is stand watch and await her return. It may be a while yet. Help me pitch the tent. Trust a gleaner to come prepared for anything. What's it? Gleaner. Someone whose job it is to travel the world and procure uncommon things for their employers. Erinville specializes in finding animals, I believe. But aren't you a Shitona from Shaktural? Why did you cross the salt? When I was much younger, the thought of leaving Tural never even occurred to me. But then, some years ago, my mentor tasked me with a difficult hunt. Something I could never find, she said, so long as I clung to the familiar. She suggested that I leave home, leave Tural, and join the cleaners of Charlian. As one of their number, I could experience the world, immerse myself in myriad cultures and customs, see the many faces of nature. And once I had learned what is truly important, I would find that which I seek. My younger self took those words to heart, and off I went to become a cleaner. Her words alone moved you to leave behind everything you'd ever known? You must have great respect for your mentor. As it happens, cleaner work was much to my liking. And I all but forgot why I had pursued it in the first place. Yet, events conspired to put me back on the trail I'd abandoned. Wait, are you saying you were tasked with finding this city of gold? I was, and though my hunt is now entangled with the right of succession, I mean to see it through. Well then, I understand completely. We all have our reasons for seeking the Golden City. Which is all the more reason for us to work together. <laughs> Just so. Wait, do you hear that?
You're utterly spent. And small wonder. Well done, Third Promise. The ranch isn't going anywhere. Take a rest in the tent. I think I will. Thank you all for believing in me. <laughs>